I got on some slides. I got you a t-shirt. I got on this little red shirt for the full. Yeah. But yeah, I thought about it. It's a blessing to still be living. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap, juicy man. Clap, juicy man. Clap, juicy man. Hey, juicy. Hey, juicy. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap, juicy man. Clap, juicy man. Clap, juicy man. Hey, juicy. Hey, juicy. Good, he still let me hold him. But this is my baby bro's new haircuts. He's going to high school. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do a spin around real quick, Trent. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Ladies. Okay, my mama cut it. Yes, she did. From start to finish. Beginning to ending. Yes, she cut it. She cut it. Okay, get those aside. Okay. <coughs> <laughs> I'm keeping it in now. <laughs> but I'm getting some work done to my hair in probably a month or two. Yep. Might get a line. Might get that line up on the side. What you gonna do if you see your sister in her hair shade? I'm not gonna be. I'm just gonna be like, I'm gonna be surprised, but then. Because Mama had her hair shade before. I'm watching. Blake, Blake, Zoe. I like watching Muck Ball and Makeup on YouTube. That's all I watch. Tutorials, all that. Say hey, Pi. Hey, y'all. This is my baby sister, my baby brother somewhere. And this is what I'm doing. Eating my beef. Raymond. Ramen. I say Raymond. Sometimes I say Ramen. It don't even matter for me. It is what it is. But y'all learn, like, the way, like, you really, they ain't say really supposed to eat them, but the traditional way is you're supposed to leave a little bit of water on them, like, stew. I just got into that or whatever. But, yeah. You good? You can talk. Okay. I need to go my house. But my favorite flavor of ramen would have to be mm, the hot one. The hot one. Yeah, just fine. Okay, come on. Come on, Juicy. Come on, be calling. Come on, I'm happy, bro. It's just hot here in Texas. It's not like a nasty, humid heat like in Mississippi, like that sticky, sweaty heat, which I really don't like. But it's like a dry heat, but it's still hot. Like, I noticed, like, after I walk outside or whatever, I have to have some water. In Mississippi, I can, you know, I'm thirsty whenever I'm walking or outside, of course, or exercise in the summer. But here, it's like you have to have water. But it doesn't even feel like that hot compared to, like, me the secret only because it's not as humid. It's like a dry heat. Sweet tea is life. I'm from Mississippi, down in the dirty, dirty south, you know. I had red hair going on. I don't know how I want to wear my makeup. Honestly, I'm feeling like lazy. I might just throw on a winged eye, a bold winged eye, like Nicki Minaj and call it a day. I don't know yet. That's a little sweet tea. You can take the girl out the south, but you can't take the south out the girl. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all yeah, think about a lot of stuff I want to do in life. And it's like, it is so much stuff I want to do, but 
I understood, this might sound weird, but when I was younger, not too much younger, like probably like five years younger, I um always wanted to stay in a big house with a light pink and white house. I don't know why I still be wanting to do that, but I know I get tired of that. I might not, I'm all, I've always been different, but then I want like a European style house. Now I want like a, um, a unique house, like a modern house with something unique. I don't know, but I know on the inside of my house, I have to have baby pink and silver sparkle stuff. That's how I want the inside of my house to look. Or it could be more mature. I can have, like, stuff of, like, real flirty and girly and feminine and youthful. I can do, um, silver sparkle and whatnot. And, you know, some mature colors, like gray, black, white. But I know my house has to be decked out. It has to. But, yeah, I want to own a lot of businesses. I want to have my hand in so much stuff that it's, like... Investing, I will be investing because <laughs> got to secure the bag. Got to for now in my future. So I got to secure the bag. And yeah, definitely counselor. That's what I'm in school for. I got to be a counselor because it's so many, it's so much bad stuff going on and it messes with people's minds. There's so many like people that unfortunately, you know, have mental disorders and it's on the rise. Like, it's really on the rise. Like, mental disorders and all that is, like, increasing. It's not going down. It's only getting worse. So, yeah, I want to help people and help them to hold and have sanity. That's what I want. Sanity, a peace of mind. Because it's a lot. And a lot of it has to do with our um, economy and, you know, where we stay. You know, politics definitely it's just a lot that can go on with it but it's just a lot but yeah that's what i want to do i want to be a counselor therapist you know that's what i plan on doing and i want to make a difference it's not always about you know oneself or all about self you can always find ways to give back you know you got not put people down but you got you know because i do respect them and i admire that because it's a tough job but like people feel like you got to be up here to give back or have so much money or what you do you have to do this and that to give back no like you have people that you know like um people give back in all kind of ways you got people that like shuttle bus drivers people look down on them but that's a hard job they work their butts off they giving back because if it weren't for them everybody would be walking especially on campus everybody used to be driving their own their own, their own selves them whatever driving themselves that's one. They be driving themselves. Excuse me, biking, skateboarding, walking, whatever they're going to call it. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's always a way to get back. And don't look down on somebody because they have a job that you wouldn't prefer or they don't make a lot of money because a lot of times those people, they work so hard and they get treated like crap. So, but don't think, don't think you can't give back because it's always a way to get back. Treat people with respect. Like, don't look down on people because they supposedly don't make as much money as you. Or, you know, they have a job that you wouldn't consider to be, hey, Juicy, considered to be, you know, high standards, like, you know, blue collar jobs. You know, if you got people that work white collar jobs and they just is bougie and not bougie as in, oh, I'm bougie, but, you know, I'm talking about like nose up in the air, just nasty personnel, the nasty and do white collar crimes all day, but they can get away with it because of their status, their status quo, their label, so.
makeup. Yeah, this is so exciting. I get to do my sister's makeup. Oh my god! Joseph, what you doing, boy? Get back, Joseph. Get back to the Get back to the Get back to Say hello to my first subscriber. <laughs> we were talking about my subscribers. I got 200, so yeah, I'm blessed about that. Thank my subscribers. I thank y'all so much for giving me the 200 without y'all. I am nothing when it comes to this YouTube, so thank y'all. I'm giving my 200 subscriber a shout out. Um, not the next video, but the video after that one. <laughs> but y'all look at my first subscriber. Trent Lucas. Trent underscore young, young. Here I have Bible verses and purposes. But I just feel like writing a little. I think I'm going to write a little to God. This is my view. It was some fireworks, but I don't think I see the fireworks here. I'm going to watch it from the inside. This is so beautiful. Uh, Fourth of July in Texas. Texas, Fourth of July. I got off the slide. I got you a T-shirt. I got on this little red shirt for the full. Hey. 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 Hey.